Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we're going to start chapter 6 of Matilda. The title of the chapter is Platinum Blonde, the Platinum Blonde Man. Right. When we go outside, what do we do? When we're home and we're preparing to go outside, we do a number of things. One of the things is we stand in front of the mirror and we try to comb our hair. And as Muslims, it's very important for us because we have this hadith in which uh, a boy was passing by and Prophet Muhammad saw him. The boy's hair was tousled, his hair was untied. So Prophet Muhammad said, doesn't he have any call to make his uh, hair tidy? So whenever you go outside, it's very uh, crucial or important to make sure that if your hair is tidy. But in this chapter, in chapter 6, you will find that Matilda's father was also very uh, interested about his uh, hair. He is also exceedingly proud of his hair. And he always, he, he loves to say that if you have good, uh, strong hair, it means that you have a nice or strong brain underneath, right? So look at, this, look at the conversation that Matilda and her father had uh, regarding Matilda's father's hair. Very interesting. It says, Matilda's father is saying, good strong hair, he was fond of saying, means there's a good strong brain underneath. Matilda said, like Shakespeare? Her father said, like who? Matilda said, Shakespeare, daddy. Then her father said, was he brainy? And Matilda said, very daddy. Matilda's father said, he had masses of hair, did he? And Matilda said, he was all daddy. So, have you ever seen Shakespeare? That's uh, William Shakespeare. Uh, he is also, he's very old. In fact, so old that he's not dead. He, he died 400 years ago and he had this bald head. So, what's really interesting about this conversation is that most of the sentences or words are written between inverted commas. When do we use inverted commas? When we code exactly the words of the speaker. Somebody has said something, for example, Matilda is saying like Shakespeare. So this sentence or words are coded exactly the way Matilda said. So when you code or write exactly what the speaker says, then we put them in inverted commas. And this is called direct speech. When you code something directly from the speaker's mouth, we call it direct speech. And if you want to write direct speech, there are basically three rules, right? Basically three rules. Can you look at the screen once again? First rule is you must put the words or the sentence between inverted commas. Secondly, if you notice carefully, you will see that each and every sentence begins with a capital letter. Right? L in capital, S in capital, W in capital. Another aspect is if you put any other punctuation marks like comma or the full stop, uh, question mark or the full stop, you must put these uh, punctuation marks inside the inverted comma, not outside. Inside. Okay? So when you uh, want, to write, uh, want to write any direct speech, there are three golden rules, basically three. There are more, but let's learn the most basic uh, one, three ones. First and foremost, you must put inverted commas. It can be either single inverted comma, the American system, or it can be double inverted comma, the British system. Either way is acceptable. Secondly, you must begin the sentence or the words with a capital letter. Right? That's number one. Secondly, must begin with a capital letter. And thirdly, other punctuation marks will be inside the inverted comma. Inside, not outside. Alright, so in your homework, what you have to do is you will talk to your father about your father's hobby or things your father loves to do or likes. And you will put that conversation into your copy and you will use these punctuation marks as if you are writing a direct speech. Alright, so Matilda knew that her father was fond of his hair and every day her father used a certain type of oil in her 
uh, in his head. And also Matilda's mother uh, used to color her hair. She used a sort of a type of hair dye, you know, to color her hair. So Matilda one day, one uh, one day, Matilda, in fact one morning, Matilda went into the bathroom and she found a bottle of hair dye. Can you look at the screen? It said, the bubble of platinum blonde hair dye, extra strong, was kept in the cupboard. This bottle is used to color the hair. And if you use this uh, hair dye, you will look like this, this girl. Right? This is platinum blonde. And if you use this bottle, your hair will look like that girl. Okay, so this bottle of platinum blonde hair dye, extra strong, was kept in the cupboard in the bathroom and on that bottle written the words caution careful this is peroxide keep away from children matilda had read it many times with fascination what is the meaning of fascination fascination is when we are interested in something or when we are attracted by something we could say that i have fascination in let's say reading books we can say boys have fascination in playing with toys like guns and cars. You can also say girls have fascination with toys like dogs, right? So Matilda read this thing many times with fascination. Right, so she entered the bathroom and she found her mother's hair dye and her father's bubble oil. So what she did was she tipped the, her father's bubble oil, she tipped three quarters of oil down the basin and then she filled that bottle with her mother's hair dye and then she put it over there and she left the bathroom very secretly and she went into the dining room so Matilda's father woke up uh, in the morning and then he went to the bathroom he, without noticing, he took the bottle of oil and he started rubbing his hair right? And he was making this grunts. Ah, that's right. That's good. It feels good. And after that, he came back. He came back to the dining room. And Matilda didn't have the courage to look at his father because at her father because if she looked at her father, she would not be able to resist her laughter. So the mother was in the kitchen, and Matilda's father was was asking for the breakfast. Where is my breakfast, honey? And she said, It's, it's coming. Just wait. So Matilda's mother came to the dining room with a plate of breakfast and the moment she looked up at this hair of Matilda's father, she was absolutely stunned. Just look at how uh, the writer describes. She looked up, she caught sight of her husband, she stopped dead. Stopped dead means she was, she was standing still. So she, she caught sight of her husband, she stopped dead. Then she let out a scream, ah! and then she dropped the plate with a crash and a splash onto the floor. She was saying, when she uh, let out a scream, her husband said, What's, What the heck is the matter with you, woman? And then the mother said, Your hair, look at your hair. What have you done to your hair? And then she said, You've, you, you've, you've dyed it, shrieked the mother. What did she do with you, fool? It looks absolutely frightful. It looks horrendous. What's the meaning of shrieked? Try to imagine when she is absolutely shocked and then she let out a scream. She shrieked. What's the meaning of shriek? Exactly, it means to shout aloud. Shriek the mother means the mother shouted aloud. And then she says, it looks absolutely frightful, it looks horrendous. What's the meaning of horrendous? Right, horrendous means extremely bad or extremely unpleasant. So the hair of Matilda's father looks absolutely horrendous, extremely bad, extremely unpleasant. All right, so Matilda's father was asking for a mirror. He wanted, he wanted to see himself in the mirror. So the mirror was given and when he saw himself in the mirror, he said, oh my God, what's happened to me? It looks terrible. How can I go to the garage and sell my cars? And then Matilda's mother informed Matilda's father, that if you use a small amount of uh, small amount of hair dye, it's all right. 
But if you use a huge amount, a lot of, a lot of hair dye, then the peroxide in the bottle will damage your hair. It will burn your skull and take your hair off. So Matilda's father was in great trouble. And when we are in great trouble, when we have hard times, when we have tough times going on, we are actually busy with ourselves. So Matilda's father was absolutely busy with his hair, how we can solve this problem. And in the meantime, Matilda was having some good times. So that's how the chapter ends. And uh, in your homework, all you have to do is you must complete the worksheet. And in the worksheet, you will find the uh, what should I say, conversation between your father and you and about your father's hobby. And you must write in direct speech. You must follow the uh, three rules, putting the conversation into inverted commas, beginning with capital letters, and putting other punctuation marks inside the inverted comma. So that's all for today. We are